Uh, we have a pretty tight schedule and uh, so far we have not been running late. So, Welcome again. I'm going to give a, a short session about the Accelero query language, in short AQL. And uh, well, it, it's, it's a pretty nice piece of technology so I uh, am happy to present here and to speak about it because it's small so maybe it's not enough for a big talk but uh, at the same time you might find it in interesting. First a quick question, uh, how many of you knows OCL and can write OCL queries? Okay, how many of you have used or known about AQL before? Okay, well that, that's expected because uh, AQL is some kind of a, of a sidekick so you have Ben Affleck, which is Batman here, and AQL is there uh, providing support for Ben Affleck and for Batman. And uh, AQL is, is Alfred. I started with Robin, but it seems like lots of people prefer Alfred over Robin. So. so our motivation as OBO, we build tools and generate tools, languages inside Eclipse, and we often need some kind of query language. For instance, when you use Eclipse Serious, you can define pretty much every aspect of your tooling through a query, and the query can delegate to a number of language. So over the history of OBO, we built quite a few query languages. Uh, we built one at the time of Axelio 2, the very first, and then we moved from there to OCL, and then now AQL is a, is a list last generation of language. So the motivation is having a language that you can embed either in other tools or in other languages. So this is serious. Uh, this is another technology we are developing which is an open source technology called M2Doc. It's basically a technology so that you can generate docx file from a model and you can see that it's a docx file and inside you have expressions which are actual, actual expressions. So M2Doc is another technology which embed and use AQL. And this is uh, the Axelio MTL uh, implementation to generate text. At some point we might want to, to use AQL here. So that's the kind of motivation that we have. So just all the expressions have a small piece of technology which does it and does it well. This is uh, ALE technology I mentioned before, which is an action language for EMF. It's also embedding AQL behind the scene so that you can write expressions and so on. So you're like, yeah, well, why another query language, right? We, uh, we have a cell already, so why build a new one? So let's look at what makes AQL pretty, pretty unique. So let's consider language, language is a syntax, a semantics, and tooling and runtime. So when we built AQL, we wanted the syntax to be completely familiar for any user of OCL. Basically, if you know OCL, you already know AQL. AQL, you can see it as, as a subset of OCL. It's just made a bit simpler, and it's just a syntax which also can be uh, slightly more extensible. So from a syntax point of view, you're feeling at home. But it's not exactly OCL, and we'll see later what, what is changing. From a semantic point of view, we really wanted something which was statically typed. So in the early days, Axelio 2 was dynamically, loosely typed language. And while well, it works nicely at the beginning because it's not too verbose, you can go very quickly, but then when you think grow and grow and get more complex and any refactoring is a challenge. So we really wanted uh, to avoid that and we really wanted a language that uh, could evolve and refactor when you change something, for instance, in the in the O design file of Eclipse Serious. On the other hand, we wanted something which was forgiving. What I mean by forgiving is that any null or unstated value is just not doing anything. It's just it's not going to make the query fail. It's just being ignored. And uh, that was a, a point which was pretty painful with OCL, where you would go over some some attributes and if it was null then the next call would fail and so on. And that's especially interesting when the serious uh, use case where you are querying a model which is being built 
So there's lots of null values at some point because the user did not enter the value yet. You don't want the tool to fail because of that, because this is a tool which allows the user to set the value. So from a tooling perspective, we really some wanted something which was embeddable, very low dependency footprint. The static typing, which is interesting and especially uh, relevant when you embed a language to another one. And we wanted rich type inference. Uh, this type inference is a way to move back from, it's statically typed, so it tends to be verbose, but actually if we put the right amount of type inference, it gets back to something very close to a dynamically typed language. And you'll see that later on. Most importantly was the runtime. Uh, when you use a query language to display, to refresh a diagram, to compute the state of a diagram, you want it to be very fast because the user click and you have maybe like 100 or 1000 queries which are going to be uh, executed before that the user gets the new diagram. So you really want something which is very, very fast. Otherwise you get delay and it's very painful for the user. So this is just an example of, uh, of query at the top. Uh, you can do stuff like e-container and go back and you have here, for instance, we go up to the UML model instance and then we get all the children with e-all contents and select any children with a name starting with Y. I, sorry. So in this simple example that you can see, if we start uh, self being the class invoice, then you can go up to the model and get all the content, select those which are interesting to you and, and predicate, uh, which, which the predicate valid is. So in this single example, you can see that's pretty, uh, pretty short compared to the corresponding OCL, which would have required a lot of more type in the select uh, branch. So it's not exactly OCL. For a lot of uh, reasons, as I said, the forgiving reason, uh, we kept all the dot and arrow syntax from OCL, but we made sure that collect and flatten calls were not uh, were implicit in AQL. That means that you will never get a list of list of list of list in AQL. So this really makes things simpler when you want to browse the model and go over one many reference and then another one and another one. It's always uh, flattening uh, this list to a single, single collection. Another weird stuff in OCL is that in OCL you can just write the attribute name and not write a, a variable name at the beginning. So that's not true with AQL. AQL you always have to start with a variable name, self, A, B, C. And this has deep implication regarding the performance you can have in the queries. Because it means that if you give a string to AQL, it's going to pass it, whatever the context, whatever the different values of the variables. If you do the same with AQL, with OCL, sorry. OCL has to check, hey, is name a variable name or is it the self variable with the attribute, the attribute name of the self variable? So this means that all this parsing and validating is, do, is done uh, well, later in the case of OCL. In AQL, you only have lists and sets. We don't have sequence, set, pack, ordered set, and everything. All the orders are predictable and stable across executions from the get-go. We don't mix up your collection just to make sure that you sort it, right? And another interesting thing is that types uh, are optional in a Lambda in AQL. So you have an example with the select syntax. And more interestingly, every type in AQL is a union type. It's actually either, for instance, a human class or a family person. So a given variable can have these two types. From an engine perspective, as I said, you have the string. We are passing it. We are getting an AST. And from this, we can validate or evaluate. Interesting in this slide is that the whole validation is optional at runtime. We use it at tooling time, but when you're using the modeler directly, then we'll go straight from the passing to the evaluation, which saves quite a bit of time. So this is a benchmark of uh, AQL compared to other query engines, which are included in Sirius. 
The first one being Axilio MTL, second one being Axilio 2, and uh, then AQL, and then direct service is direct Java call, and feature is direct access to the attribute. So what you can see with this diagram is there's no reason to not use AQL for any use case when using it with Sirius. The inquiry labs also did some uh, performance benchmark in uh, 2015. They compared MTL with AQL with inquiry. And what you can see is that AQL outperformed even inquiry, which is a fast evaluation engine, on the first evaluation. Of course, inquiry then gets better because just cache everything and based on an impact analysis of the, mo of the model, you can say, hey, here is the last result. So the next evaluation inquiry is gonna be better. But even then, uh, you can see that AQL performs well and don't use any memory. There's some type inference and then I'm pretty much done. Uh, is this is a serious tooling and uh, for instance here at the top the self variable is either a participant instance or an interaction instance and then you have an if and the if checks if the type is interaction then and then aql is able to figure out that hey well within this branch we know that the type is going to be an interaction or within the other branch we know that the type is going to be a participant so this makes it pretty, pretty powerful because then you don't have to type cast after type check, for instance. IQL is going to, uh, to figure it out. It's all defined in Java. The semantics of IQL is just Java method. There's all the behavior which is included. At the top, it's uh, absolute uh, method, for instance. Every operator is actually changed to an add call to a single method and you can even write your own uh, Java method which is going to be injected in the language just by writing it like that. The runtime, pretty small. It's actually 13,000 okay, 13, lines of code and uh, it's only depending on uh, Guava and the Antler runtime and very specific part of EMF. So that's something you can embed very easily. Uh, the plugin is not even a singleton, so if you have, you have several in your Eclipse installation, it's going to work anyway. And it's been part of the Eclipse release train since uh, 2015. Okay, so it's a single plugin which is part of the Axelo project, and here you have the link to get it. And also, you can have a look at the other technologies already using it, Eclipse Serious, M2Doc, and the AL Action Language for MF. Thank you very much. Sorry for the being so fast and speedy. <laughs>